Yo, what is up? Three weeks ago, I previewed for you the Skoda T45 Tier 7 Czechoslovakian heavy tank. And today, I'm bringing you the Skoda T56. This is a Tier 8 heavy tank, which is also a premium, by the way. So we're going to take a look at this tank today, and we are going to uh, compare it with the other two more popular uh, heavy tanks in this game uh, which is the 50 tp and the 252 u now first of all let's take a look at uh, the modeling of this tank uh, it looks actually uh, pretty good it has a turret that seems to have uh, shields on the side of the turret which kind of reminds me of the um uh, one of the mod makers skin on the T54 lightweight that had shields on the side of the turret. It's pretty unique looking. Uh, I think in terms of the modeling, uh, this tank looks pretty good. I'm quite excited by the way it looks. What else is special about this tank is it is a auto loader. It has a two shot auto loader which reloads every 25 seconds so this is the interesting part about this tank other than that uh, this is a typical heavy tank most of its stats are similar uh, to the 50 tp and the 252 u so let's go ahead and take a look at it uh, first things first 460 alpha damage or you are looking at a tank that has 20 more alpha damage than a 50 tp or a 252U, which, you know, those tanks do 440 alpha damage. So uh, you've got 460 alpha damage, but you've got two shots. Remember that uh, the two shots have an intra clip of four seconds. So it's not exactly a quick auto loader. Uh, you can't really fire off um, 920 damage quickly. Uh, you've got to do it over four seconds so it's not exactly you know it you can say it's a quick single shot tank but it's definitely not a quick auto auto loading tank uh, because four seconds intra clip is a pretty long time however you can do 920 damage if you're willing to wait that uh, four seconds to reload um, the he shell however the 640 uh, damage if you can penetrate uh, of course um, but yeah so that's an interesting thing about this tank um, after firing your second shell and doing 920 damage you've got to wait 25 seconds for your reload and then um, you've got another 460 damage per shot on your gun again um, what is weak about this tank is standard penetration uh, you've got two kinds of shells of course you've got standard ap shells and the premium shells are going to be heat shells um, but the standard armor penetration is only going to be 208 millimeters now compare that with the standard penetration you get nowadays from all the new tanks 208 isn't that great it isn't bad but it isn't that great uh, the 50 tp has got 218 penetration while the 252u has 225 penetration uh, on the standard uh, standard ap shell so there's the difference you get from uh, standard ap shells uh, on the on the heat shells uh, it is kind of different uh, because on the heat shells you have 290 penetration which is like a lot better than the 50 tp and a lot better uh, than the 252u uh, because on the 50 tp you only get 245 penetration and the 252u you get 265 penetration on the premium shells while the skoda t56 does 290 penetration that is absolutely amazing 290 penetration you're i mean you're talking about um, you know being competitive even with tier 10 tanks so that's pretty good uh, about the Skoda T56 um, what else do I have for you uh, the gun handling 0 0.40 dispersion on uh, 100 meters which is um, 
worse than a 50 TP, um, slightly better than a 252U, um, 0 0.40. Uh, I wouldn't say it is terrible, it is kind of standard for a uh, heavy tank, so I'm not very disappointed in the 0 0.40 uh, dispersion. However, the aim time is 2.9 seconds. This tank is like um, in between the 50TP and the 252U in many ways. Um, the, the, the aiming time, 2.9 seconds. Is worse than a 50 TP because 50 TP aiming time is 2.88 seconds but it is slightly better than the 252U because the 252U has 3.07 seconds of aim time so this tank is squarely in between the 50 TP and 252U um, if you are comparing them uh, all these three tanks together and now what we don't know right now are the uh, moving dispersions uh, the moving dispersions have not been uh, shared yet. Uh, we have no idea um, what the moving dispersions are, so we have to wait for the news uh, later on, maybe today or tomorrow or in a couple of weeks. We don't know yet. Uh, what we do know so far right now is the stock dispersion 0 0.40, aim time 2.9 seconds. So. This tank, like I said, in between the 50TP and the 252U. Um, gun depression 8 degrees, uh, which is, um, you know, 50TP is 10 degrees, this thing is 8 degrees, 252U is only 6 degrees gun depression. So, like I said, this tank totally in between, uh, in between uh, these two tanks. Uh, it carries only 30 shells, but the amount of time that it takes for this gun uh, to reload being a slow heavy tank uh, I think this is the normal kind of shell capacity that you would expect because 252U carries 30 shells as well um, the 50TP carries 5 more shells so a bit of advantage for the 50TP uh, mobility fairly same as 50 TP and 252U, 35 kilometers an hour going forward, 15 going backwards, uh, 650 horsepower, slightly lower horsepower than the 50 TP or the 252U. Um, in terms of mobility, it looks like the power to weight ratio um, and the turret and and uh, hull rotation speeds are about the same as the 50TP and the 252U. So they're going to perform very similarly in terms of mobility, whether you're talking about the hull mobility or the turret mobility, um, um, as well as the uh, power to weight ratio. It is 13.5 power to weight ratio, uh, which is very similar to the 252U, which is 13.59. So those are the things that are very similar in terms of armor. Um, it has slightly worse hull armor than the 50TP and the 252U, only 100mm. Frontally, 252U has 130mm. 50TP, of course, legendary for its uh, good armor, 170mm of frontal hull armor. Um, the turret armor on the Skoda is 220, uh, which is slightly better than the 50TP but the 252U or the Defender has 250mm of, of, um, of uh, turret armor so again this tank squarely in between 50TP and 252U in terms of performance uh, other than um, the gun uh, when I say the gun I mean uh, the penetration uh, the damage and uh, um, um, the reload times uh, of course 25 seconds reload time that is the only thing you need to think about when you are playing this tank hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this quick preview see you on the next video bye, -bye.